So I first got into wargaming in year seven and I was about 12 years old. Um, for us in the UK, this is the start of secondary school or high school, whatever you want to call it. And it was around the time that the very first Lord of the Rings was coming out, the Fellowship of the Ring. And what that meant was that Games Workshop were doing the Lord of the Rings, the miniatures game. And a few of the people at my school who already played Warhammer, they started uh, getting some of these figures and I thought they looked really, really cool. And I picked up my first ever box, which was the Fellowship of the Ring uh, set, which I thought would be really good. However, didn't realize that it's better to have a load of some dudes rather than just have really high point guys. And um, that kind of sucked, but it was the first ever miniatures ever painted and I thought my Gandalf was spot on. Um, but I quite literally only used one colour for his cloak, one colour for his hat. There was no skill in it at all. So this was really popular for a little while and uh, it was sort of the thing that all of us did. Um, it was really hot to do. but eventually it died down. Um, people that even played sort of Warhammer, they just sort of grew out of it really. Um, and there was kind of me. Um, I distinctly remember a couple of people as me. Um, there was Jamie and there was a couple of uh, other guys that we went to uh, sort of meet at school and uh, that kind of sort of died out and we, we stopped playing with the regular guys um, sort of Aaron, James and Harry, they were all into it so we went along to and started up a school club and uh, that's where I met a couple of people and sort of though even the Lord of the Rings had died out we started to move on to sort of Warhammer and Warhammer 40k um, and that's how I started to, to really get into the hobby So there was a really distinctive moment for me um, moving away from sort of Lord of the Rings to Warhammer. Um, one of my friends taught me how to paint uh, orcs and then I distinctly remember getting a gift gift card um, and rather than spending it on Lord of the Rings I ended up starting with Tau and Tau were a really new faction of 40k at that time. Um, and on the gift card I distinctly remember this big piece of artwork where there were hundreds of sort of fire warriors firing and it was a really nice piece of artwork so I thought I had to get some of these um, and that's what I went with. The next big stage for me was kind of um, whilst people at school were sort of really not playing war games and, and it wasn't becoming very popular, we started to look for local clubs and Abingdon War Games Club was the one in our town um, and it was a really really good club. Um, it had loads of terrain, loads of scenery and they played so many different games which almost opened the floodgates so we ended up sort of playing like Warhammer, uh, Warhammer 40k. Um, but also some like really good classics so there was Confrontation which was just a fantastic miniatures game um, we even even got me playing sort of Wild West um, and RPGs and sort of at this point in time sort of getting up to sort of about sixth form um, but I suppose the cool thing about Abingdon War Games Club was that we sort of helped them run shows they run a Overlord show um, which got people from all over the country sort of coming to, to see our show and, and that was really good fun I helped out with that for a few years and we also used to take trips down to London and go to Salute which is the UK's biggest wargaming show which I probably wouldn't have done if I hadn't been part of that club
Then I suppose after um, after sort of secondary school and sixth form, I went off to university to do my first degree. And that was a time where kind of like my hobby really died for sort of a good few years. Um, there was a games workshop in town, um, which I went and ended up sort of starting some Space Wolves. But I really didn't play um, next to nothing really. And sort of for a time being my hobby was dead. We did go to Birmingham and go to the, uh, go to the shows uh, at the NEC. Um, but it wasn't really until uh, me and my housemate, uh, we picked up Warhammer again. Um, sort of in our third year and we got a couple of games in on the on the floor in our, in our rooms uh, I ended up starting playing Tomb Kings and he was playing Vampire Counts but to be honest we really didn't play at all and that fizzled out really quickly which which was a shame so then I moved up to Manchester um, and I can't really remember what got me back into it. Um, I think I just remember there was a games workshop in town, perhaps. Um, and I've always kind of been on and off with a hobby. Uh, I've always kept a lot of stuff um, and always looked at it. And I was quite a impulsive buyer. Um, but I ended up going to one of the game nights, the open game nights at the local games workshop, um, which had this massive Titan in the window. And I made some really good friends. We had a really good group. Um, there was Gavin, who you've probably seen on here before. Um, there was Stefan, and, and um, yeah, th there were some guys that we had some really good times. And to sort of keep things going, um, I ended up making a plastic crap blog, which was just to really motivate myself to, to do the hobby, really. And we had some nice trips to Warhammer World, and uh, that slowly fizzled out eventually because they kind of only played games, workshop games. Gav had a kid. Um, but he would sometimes come around and, you know, I started playing X-Wing with him and that was really good. Um, but again, that sort of, that did end up fizzling out in the end. Then I kind of moved over into Infinity. Infinity being a game I played all the way back in Abandon War Games Club in second edition, but didn't really play a lot of it and there wasn't any clubs near me. so to get the most games in I ended up going to Bury and trying it out for two sort of weeks um, but it wasn't a very big club so I ended up going to the Northern Open tournament and the first time I went I was really hung over um, and it didn't go great but the tournament itself was fantastic and I met a load of people like Ed, um, there was Pete from uh, straight out of Caledonia and also James and I actually made some really good friends just sort of even on the first time going which was really nice um, everyone was really cool and Northern Open become a sort of a staple to sort of see these guys and, and play some really good infinity um, but also sort of meet up with these guys uh, went around to James's house and, and play some games which was cool because I have I had no people to play in Manchester with at that time um, then kind of like a second Northern Open in I met Luke and realized that he was not actually reasonably close um, to where where I lived which was fantastic because it meant that I could get regular games in and it was someone who was really passionate about Infinity as well um, and then more recently I suppose I've gotten uh, Courtney into playing board games at home so that was also another way of using like a massive stock of my collection that I've got so we really got into Pandemic um, and playing sort of other other sort of two player games such as Zombicide and whatnot, and it meant that sort of I could do more hobby at home that didn't mean sort of setting up massive tables of, of war games and whatnot 